Is this the new normal? We're approaching a danger zone in May 2020. Make sure you watch this video all the way to the end so that you understand exactly what is going on. Hi, I'm Saratoga Ocean, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a May 2020 energy update. May is a very significant month where you need to be acutely aware of a danger zone that we are fast approaching. And if you're new to my channel, welcome and make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can join our fast growing community of lightworkers and spiritual seekers. So let's begin by talking about where we are right now as we enter the month of May. Do you remember back when this whole lockdown thing started? We were told that it would only last for about two weeks. We were told that the entire purpose of the lockdown was to prevent hospitals from being overwhelmed. We were reassured that this would slow the spread of the virus and not to worry because life would soon resume normally. So everyone complied because it seemed like a painful but doable solution at the time. I mean, it really didn't sound that horrible, certainly not compared to now, right? But as soon as we were all locked away and businesses began to close, the story began to change. Fear and terror were served up by the media 24-7 like some weird spigot of negative energy that never gets turned off. And the goalposts were moved every day. Now, we were initially told that it would be unthinkable to lock down the entire country for more than two or three weeks. I mean, you know, it would ruin everything. We couldn't possibly allow that to happen. That's what we were told, right? And now we're being told a vastly different story. We are told that this could go on for months, and in some cases, even as long as two years. And it's all being billed as the new normal. I mean, I'm starting to think we've been set up. And I'm not talking about the virus. I'm not here to question the virus. What I'm questioning is how does this story change so dramatically almost overnight? So I really don't have any interest in discussing the actual virus itself. I mean, I think the virus has more than enough attention without me adding to it. We are so overloaded with information about the virus that it, it's really enough already. So instead of talking about that, what I want to talk about is what is actually happening to our consciousness. I want to talk about this because you're going to need to be thinking about this as we move into the month of May. Things are going to be realigning themselves dramatically in May. Now we are told that things will begin to open up again in May, but this is going to be a slow, painful, and highly constricted opening up. And a lot of places will not be opening up at all. So we're going to start seeing some amazing contrasts begin to develop. Now I want you to focus for a moment on the latest buzzword, new normal. This, you guys, this is blatant mind control. Now let's look at a few more of these popular new buzzwords or slogans. There's things like safer at home, stay home, or stay home and save lives. And these words are mindlessly being repeated over and over and over again. These are all fear-based statements implying that there is an unseen, ever-present danger outside of your home. And then we have the phrase social distancing, which is also fear-based. We are told that all humans are dangerous, life-threatening carriers of this invisible enemy. So make sure you don't get physically close to anyone. And we also need to wear masks because the air is very dangerous to breathe. And gloves are essential because this terrifying invisible enemy is likely lurking on every conceivable surface. Now, before you guys jump all over me and say, wait a minute, Saratoga, these are intelligent ways to prevent the spread of a virus. 
let me just point something out. I totally understand that these measures could potentially reduce the spread of a virus. I'm not here to argue the validity of the measures themselves. That's not what I'm here to talk about. I want you to go much deeper and contemplate the mindset that is being insidiously programmed into our brains. See, we could have all of these methods introduced to us as though we are intelligent beings who have the capacity to understand a few simple ideas and implement them in a conscious way out of love for ourselves and our fellow human beings. I mean, they could be introduced to us without the accompanying fear and terror. They could be introduced to us without the excessive level of control over our every move. But that's not the way civilization on planet Earth is structured. The human system on Earth is structured as a system of slavery. I mean, that should be obvious by now. If you can instantly order a massive part of an entire planetary civilization into locking themselves down indefinitely, ending their ability to earn a living and basically ruining their lives, and they instantly comply, that is already a highly controlled system of human slavery. Now I want you to take a step back from this entire situation. Take a moment to decide not to be emotionally involved with any of this so that you can see everything much more clearly. You are going to need that clarity to be able to navigate the month of May and the other months after that. See, I want to give you guys some clarity in advance so that you can stay grounded, centered, clear, and empowered. Now here's what is likely to happen in May 2020. You are going to see different factions develop among people. There will be extremes. There will be people who are absolutely terrified and will be willing to shut down all of life indefinitely out of their sheer amount of fear, no matter what the cost. And then there will also be those who either don't believe this whole thing or who believe that the cost outweighs the solution and they will be going against the rules at every opportunity. Now, this is going to create a great deal of friction and division. Some people will be so traumatized by all the fear that they will be happy to have every aspect of their lives controlled forever. And the people who are unwilling to buy into this any further are going to rebel against any more control out of their own need to survive. So both sides are going to be in an amplified state of survival, but for completely opposing reasons. And you can be absolutely certain that the media will happily pit these two sides against one another. There will be social shaming, judgment, finger pointing, and conflict. And thus the confusion is only going to increase. So there's going to be a psychological tug of war over who is right and who is wrong. And it will be very easy to get caught up in the conflict. And the media will actively push us deeper into this conflict because it creates more stress and more confusion. And it serves to weaken us even further. And guys, don't forget that social media always amplifies whatever the media tells us. So let's look at the underlying narrative that the controllers want to push on us now. And just hang in there with me, guys, because by the time I'm finished with everything I want to share with you, you are going to have a very clear picture of where we're going and what you can do to maintain your position of positive energy, optimism, and your ability to create your life. Remember, knowledge is power, but also clarity is power as well. Anyway, here's how this works. Now this part, you guys, is really, really interesting to observe. According to the mind control media, there is now only one group of people that you are allowed to care about. You are only allowed to care about people who might contract this virus. No one else matters anymore. If you are concerned about any other form of suffering on this planet, then you are a bad person who only wants people to die. 
Now let's take a look at who no longer matters according to the media. And guys, this is really, really important for you to recognize with your eyes open. And when I get to the end of this video, I'm gonna to explain to you exactly why this is so incredibly significant. So here's a list of the people that no longer matter according to what we are being told to think by the media. People who are sick and have died from any other cause other than this virus. Those people are now irrelevant. And anyone experiencing domestic violence who is trapped in a home with their abuser. They don't matter anymore either. And how about children who might be trapped in a home 24 seven with an abusive parent or parents with no one to check on their welfare? According to the media, no need to be concerned about that anymore. And then we have people suffering from drug and alcohol abuse who can still obtain these substances and have nowhere else to go. And of course, let's not forget about the millions and millions of families and businesses whose lives are being completely destroyed. That's a minor detail. Not worth even thinking about that, right? And we have people suffering from depression who might become suicidal. And we also have an entire generation of young people whose hope for a positive future is being systematically eliminated. We have children whose entire education has been thrown into chaos. We have poverty, hunger, food shortages, and transportation shutdowns. We have animal abuse that is likely going unreported because no one is paying attention. Finally, we have elderly people who are forced to suffer alone in nursing homes with no family members allowed in to make sure they are being adequately cared for. So the new instructions for all of us are, if you want to include the interests of any of these people in the discussion or in the decision-making process, then you are a terrible person. You just want people to die. Guys, are we really this asleep? Seriously? Now let's look at this in very simple terms and now I'm going to get to the part of why this message is so incredibly important for you to understand. The news media is essentially the voice that gives us our daily mental instructions. It tells us what we are ordered to think through some form of a screen, like a smartphone, a computer, or a TV. We go to our screens repeatedly throughout the day so we know what we are supposed to be thinking and believing. Now we are currently being given the most draconian, anti-human instructions that anyone could ever imagine. So here's the significant part of my message for you in this video. Do you wanna know why I gave you guys that long list of people that you are no longer supposed to care about? Because this virus is being used as a very clever excuse to get us to completely disassociate from each other in our natural, heartfelt, human way. We are only allowed to care about a relatively tiny group of people who have this virus. And no one else matters. And if you think that anyone else matters, then according to the media, you just want people to die. I mean, that's crazy. Now we are supposed to stay at least six feet away from each other because humans are now considered to be dangerous to life itself. We must stay away from each other as much as possible and exhibit the required degree of fear about any human contact. We must all cover our faces with masks, which makes it impossible to connect with each other through our much needed human facial expressions. And no more physical touching. And now we are being told that this is the new normal. So just like a herd of well-trained cattle, we collectively agree. So fear of each other to the point of no physical contact is now the new normal. Okay guys, someone or something is trying to break us 
at a deep psychic level. They are trying to break us of our natural physical and psychic human connections. Now, the reason they are pitting the two factions together that I mentioned earlier is so they can introduce massive social shaming to anyone who doesn't comply with this madness. This is just a new form of social policing. Guys, it's psychological warfare. So why is this happening? This is the beginning of the attempted breakdown of our heart centers. If you tear apart the deep, psychic, heartfelt, physical connections that we naturally have for each other, then you are literally destroying the human species as we have known it thus far. I cannot emphasize enough how imperative it is for us to wake up. Once you are psychically and physically separated from your fellow human beings as the new normal, then you are tearing apart the natural energetic connections that you have with your own species. This is going to have a profound effect on your entire system of chakras and all your energy centers. This is the beginning of the breakdown of your human spirit. And this, my friends, is the danger zone that we are fast approaching if we do not wake up and pay attention to what is really going on. Now, all of this is a necessary part of the process of remaking us into entities whose souls can live in an AI digitized format. So as we move into the month of May and you see the noose of control begin to loosen a bit, please remain aware of what is happening with the human beings around you. And do not fall into the trap of judgment and social shaming. I mean, you guys, we have far more important things that we need to consider. We need to rise to a much higher level of cosmic intelligence in terms of how we view all of this. And that starts with being crystal clear about what is actually going on. Now we are moving towards an important crossroads in our ascension process. So stay focused on expanding your consciousness and nurturing your spiritual awakening. Decide every day that you are going to remain peaceful and centered. Always stay connected to your inner wisdom and to your divine guidance. And please make daily meditation a habit. For now, just take things one day at a time and always stay alert and remain aware because there is much more to come. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it out with your friends. And make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be here three times a week, every week to support you through this entire Ascension journey. And with that, I'm sending you guys so much love, light, and positive energy. Stay peaceful, my friends. Namaste.